Hey, what's up everybody? T Tall Toby here, and in today's on shape step by step tutorial, we're going to take a look at a very simple part. It's called Simple Pin. It's a tier one part from our Too Tall Toby practice models library of 2D to 3D challenges. So here at TooTallToby.com, we're going to click here to get started. And we can see here that we've got over 150 challenges going from a 2D drawing to a 3D model and spanning a wide range of complexity. Well, if you're just getting started in the world of 3D CAD, you'll be happy to see that we have this option for show filters and we can filter by tier one level difficulty. These are generally models that only take two or three features to construct as a 3D model. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to this model here, 240902. Now this is a model that's exclusively available for our Practice Models Premium subscribers, but we are trying to go through every single model in this library and create a tutorial for our users. So we're gonna create the tutorial for this one today. So I'm gonna say click here to practice and we're gonna come down here and say click here to begin and go. What is the mass of this part in xx.x grams? xx.x grams, we can see that this model is in millimeters. It's 1060 aluminum alloy with 2700 kilograms per cubic meter as the density. And I think that for a part like this, it's going to be very straightforward. We're just going to create a sketch here on the top plane. We're going to extrude that sketch up. So the sketch of about 20 millimeter diameter circle, we'll extrude that sketch up to 40 millimeters, and then we will add this radius three fillet on the top and on the bottom. So a very straightforward model here, but these are the kinds of pins that sometimes you will 3D print, and then you'll use them to kind of key two components together so that when one component turns, the other component turns right along with it. And so this is a great exercise, especially if you're just getting started in the world of 3D CAD. So let me move this over onto my second screen. Let's bring up our keyboard cam so you can see all the keyboard shortcuts I'm using and create a new document here, 24-09-02, simple pin and i am creating this in the public space in on shape so if you're ever using on shape or the free version of on shape you can search for this document in the public space and you can see how i constructed the tree so we're going to start out here on the top plane s key begin a new sketch n key to get normal to s key to begin a circle single click move our mouse single click again let go of our mouse and we're going to type in two zero enter nice 20 millimeter diameter circle there and that's it for that first sketch very very simple very straightforward it's a simple pin so now we're going to choose extrude and we can extrude this up to a height of 40 millimeters we could make it symmetric you know, if I have components that are symmetric, a lot of times I will opt to center them just because it usually works out for you better in the long run to have that plane right in the middle. But it's up to you. It doesn't really matter for this exercise if it's symmetric or if it's just one sided. It's such a simple part that it doesn't really matter either way. So we click the green check mark and now we're going to jump into the fillet command and in the fillet command we could pick this edge up top and this edge down below or to clear these selections I can press the space bar. We could also just pick this face here and on shape will automatically fill it any edges that are not currently tangent on either end of that face. So we're going to choose to fill it there with a radius of three millimeters, enter and enter. And that's pretty much it for that model. Not too much going on in that tree. One, two, three features. That's all it took to construct that model. And so now we're going to go over here to the name of the part in the tree. We're going to right click. We're going to say edit appearance. And let's make this part kind of a yellow part to match what the customer has given us. And then maybe the other thing that we could do is we could press P. P is a shortcut to hide and show the planes. If we press P, it kind of cleans up that model a bit. And then we can right click on the name of that part in the parts list. We can say assign material. And then here we can go into our Too Tall Toby custom materials library. And we can choose to assign a material of 1060 aluminum alloy. And so we hit the green check mark and then we go down here kind of behind the clock. We've got this button here for our mass and section properties. So we'll click on that button and then we will choose anywhere on the part. And we see that we're coming up with a mass here of 33.3 grams. So we come over here to the box for mass 33.3 enter and oh yeah, we got it right. Let's go. So we did it. We got it correct. It took us three minutes and 28 seconds. And so I'm going to say submit. 
And now we can scroll down a little bit here. We can go into data and analytics and we can see how we did compared to the field. So the average time is one minute and 32 seconds. I did it in three minutes and 28 seconds. So I always like to do it faster than the, the average uh, time. And so maybe I would go back here and I would say, you know, try again and then maybe try to do it a little bit faster. See if I can go any faster if I wasn't talking my way through a tutorial. And so we can see here on the top 100 board, my ranking is 160 out of 179. I didn't even make it in the top 100. But look at Corey here, Mesa makes right on top of that leaderboard in just 14 seconds. My goodness, that is fast. But like I said, it is a pretty simple model. So that's it for that challenge. That's it for that tutorial. If you enjoyed that tutorial, be sure to hit the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will look forward to seeing all of you in the next On Shape step-by-step -step tutorial. See you, everybody.